Good morning everyone, my name is Anna and welcome to Cactus Cafe. So today I am in my mother-in-law's house and I want to show you her totem pole cactus. But first, take a look at her lemon tree. I am in my mother-in-law's backyard here in Las Vegas as well and my mother-in-law is one of those people that I say have a natural green thumb <laughs> I don't know if you guys believe in that but I do so she can grow anything and everything without even trying so there's just some people I believe that has a natural green thumb so she doesn't even follow any rules or she doesn't even know anything about the rules about desert plants and yet all her plants are thriving in here so under this lemon tree as you can see she has several pots of euphorbia milii and they are always in flower i can't believe it any time of the year i see these spots they always have flowers on them right now it is winter and yet her euphorbia milii is still blooming so look at that she has the one with the big leaves and one with small leaves there she is picking some lemon trees or some lemons i mean from her lemon tree so <clears throat> she also has an aloe vera right here. Mom, your aloe vera is blooming. Did yeah. you know this? No. It has a look. It's starting look to that. flower. How big is that? Big over there. Wow, her aloe vera is blooming. I can't believe that. See that? Oh yeah, there is a lot of lemons there. Hmm? Whoa, what do you feed this lemon tree? Nothing, water. <laughs> Just water? Uh -huh. <laughs> no fertilizer? No. What about this? That, uh, what do you, what soil do you use? Uh, this, oh, just garden soil. Uh -huh. That's all you use for yeah. Yeah. this? Mm -hmm. Wow. This is jasmine. Jasmine, yes. We call this Sampaguita in the Philippines. Uh -huh. And Jasmine. Is, uh, what they call? It's a Euphorbia milii. They say Jesus, Jesus, uh, thorn or what? Oh, crown of thorns, yeah. Uh -huh. Crown of thorns, they also call that crown of thorns. They always have flowers. Uh huh. Well, lucky, when you have flowers, you hit that part. <laughs> she said it's lucky if you get flowers on your plants you hit a jackpot here in las vegas <laughs> so mom what about this uh euphorbia milii here how do you take care of them uh i just put a leaf in there from the lemon tree everything oh the leaves uh -huh. she said oh i see it so this is what she does she puts the leaves the dried leaves here on top like a compost i guess do you put any fertilizer uh, no no fertilizer wow <laughs> and yet all the leaves and the, that's it just the leaves okay so she says this is all she does she just puts the leaves on here and let it decompose there like a compost and she doesn't give any fertilizer on them look how they are thriving tell, tell, did the lucky lucky tree which one is the lucky oh, tree? Um, this one. One, two, three. This one? Uh -huh. Oh, so she considers this a lucky tree. If they have a lot. Flowers. I mean flowers. Uh-huh. And you do, you always have flowers. Uh-huh. But now not too many. You two, four. In uh, summer, it's fuller, right? Uh-huh. Mine doesn't have any flower. <laughs> see, see that one too. That one. That little one, little flower. Yeah, this one. Uh -huh. 
So this lemon tree of her is acting like a natural greenhouse here. <laughs> she doesn't need a greenhouse like I do. So she just puts um, her plants underneath this lemon tree and they thrive. So as you can see, she has a variety of plants in here. She has the Euphorbia milii. She has an aloe vera. And then she yeah, also no. has jasmines. Yeah, she has several pots of jasmines right there. And then she has some tropical plants in here. I don't know what these are called. So they're thriving. As you can see, desert plants, tropical plants, they all thrive here under this huge lemon tree, which is full of <laughs> lemons. Oh. oh, another aloe vera here. And you want it? You just can't. Do I want it? Yes, I want it. <laughs> Oh, do you hear that? She's gonna give me a cutting of this euphorbia. Yeah, see so many bit, bit of yellow. Okay. This is red. So if you put together, uh -huh. they turn to red and yellow together. Together Same in pot. a pot? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. So she's gonna give me a cutting also of the red one. Oh, I think I have to get this. Oh Thank you. Okay, so my mother-in-law is going to show us her very old totem pole cactus. So this is the original mother plant. And this is where I got my cutting also, the one that's in my backyard. How long do you, have you had this? Uh, about... It's big. Eight years, I mean. Eight, seven years. Seven, eight years here on the if ground? I don't cut down, the power go up there. I know. I cut that, remember? I saw this. I saw this when it was still bigger uh -huh. and she had to cut the top. But this one, I just start put the start going. So this also mm -hmm. came from that big plant? Uh-huh. That one too. And that one too. Wow. So she takes the babies out from here mm -hmm. and she plants them in pot. Uh -huh. To root them, uh, and, oh, the and she said, only two, how many, two years, three years? Only two, three years in the ground. Uh -huh. It's big. Oh my goodness! This is even bigger than my arm. <laughs> it's so fat. <laughs> how often do you water this? A week. Once a week? Mm -hmm. uh, no matter what. Just water every time you want to. Just yeah. water it when she feels like watering uh -huh. it. <laughs> Maybe two weeks. So every once or two weeks? Uh -huh. One week or two weeks? Yeah. Wow. All right, everyone. I'm so excited. She's going to give me some cuttings out of her big totem pole cactus. Yeah, what, what? Take it. Pull it. Be careful. Uh. Uh -huh. Another one. Uh -huh. Oh! <laughs> this big one will be 400. Oh, you say. <laughs> yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah, one more. Are you gonna cut everything? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, look at that goodie bag. Thank you, mom. Thank you. And there's a hummingbird right there. Look under there. Taking a drink. I know. What are you feeding your hummingbirds? Uh, water and sugar. 
Just water and sugar? Yeah. They love it. Yeah. See? See, there's... See, look at that. They're flying. I know. There's a lot. There's another one there. See? Like this. Yeah, the cancer when you I don't know what name is it. And this one is Thai basil. Uh-huh. Thai basil. Okay, and then there's another you jasmine. Have to wait summer and come look at. Yeah, summertime. I I I get water like that. That could be come up really pretty, but I know water for two weeks. No water for two weeks? Well uh -huh. it's still alive. Yeah. So she forgot what the name of this one is, but she said it's used to uh, treat yeah. cancer. Uh -huh. Okay. And I love this Thai basil in fa noodle soup. So yeah. good. But you have to wait for summer and, you know, not cold. Everything will be hot. Yes. So, mom, what advice can you give us gardeners? How can we grow plants the way you do? Your plants are also healthy. Just love all the plants. Love them. Just love them. That's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I tell you, my mom is a natural green thumb. So that's the advice she can give us. Just love your plants. <laughs> that's doing. <great. laughs> and the best thing about coming to mom's house is she cooks for us. She's a very, very good cook. Ooh, look at that. What do you have there, babe? Chicken latna. Okay, she cooks Thai food. Latna. So here are what my mother-in-law gave me. So she gave me cuttings of her Euphorbia milii. So I got both the yellow and the red flowered ones. So this is the red one. Of course, I got... Uh, the cuttings of the totem pole very very plump cuttings of her totem pole cactus and some lemons as well lots and lots of lemons thank you everyone for joining me today in my mother-in-law's backyard so she's really an inspiration to me so bye everyone have a great day and cheers